Hello everyone, this is um, Claudia Morgan and um, today I'm going to talk about uh, the concept of uh, spiritual committees. I think this is a tool in our uh, spiritual toolbox which we don't um, use uh, enough. Um, the first time I heard about this concept uh, was several years ago uh, and was brought forward by um, Jen Slater in her uh, <clears throat> tiny book called um, Hiring the Heavens. So she stumbled upon this um, Let's say um, process and help uh, when uh, when uh, dealing with uh, while dealing with uh, with a client. So uh, since then she starts her day uh, asking her spiritual committees like angels and uh, invisible forces and energies to help her achieve uh, those daily tasks. And uh, since then she was uh, very successful. And even if it's in our imagination or um, if the faith we have in uh, such uh, <clears throat> process and such uh, beings um, is good to uh, to enlist them, uh, there is no hurt in in working with them. Um, it's like um, you know, someone tells you that uh, um, a pear is sweet or um, watermelon is sweet, and you have to taste it in order to uh, confirm uh, yourself that uh, that's the case. Uh, but just before doing that, you take a mouthful of uh, hot coffee or hot tea and your uh, mouth is numb. So you don't feel any taste, you don't feel anything anymore, but you still uh, bite into that pear. Um, so of course the pear won't taste uh, sweet. And your conclusion is, you know what, those guys were not right, they lied to me, uh, and you gave up. Um, so you have to, to try again when your mouth goes back to its initial state of, of tasting, tasting. So the same with, uh, with faith and uh, you know, practicing uh, this approach to um, the spiritual committees. Keep asking for help, um, doesn't hurt, doesn't cost you anything. Um, and as I said yesterday, it's a discussion with yourself and a discussion, a reflective discussion in the end with uh, those invisible forces which are there to, um, to help you. Uh, and this is of course for those who don't believe in such uh, you know, silly things. <clears throat> but again, you won't be able to um, change your um, beliefs or change your concepts and your um, way of uh, thinking if you don't try it. Um, so <clears throat> I can tell you a lot of things, but if you don't try it for them for yourself, it will never uh, uh, come to, to fruition. So um, stay uh, safe, stay healthy. Love you all guys. Until next time, love and gratitude.